Let the children come to me, do not prevent them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Father. Today we celebrate St. John Bosco, priest, and this Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Bishop Francis Highland. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who raised up the priest in John Bosco as a father and teacher of the young, grant we pray that aflame with the same fire of love, we may seek out souls and serve you alone. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. An informant came to David with the report, the children of Israel have transferred their loyalty to Absalom. At this, David said to all his servants who were with him in Jerusalem, up, let us take flight or none of us will escape from Absalom. Leave quickly, lest he hurry and overtake us then visit disaster upon us and put the city to the sword. As David went up the Mount of Olives, he wept without ceasing. His head was covered and he was walking barefoot. All those who were with him also had their heads covered and were weeping as they went. As David was approaching Bahurim, a man named Shimei, the son of Zerah, of the same clan as Saul's family, was coming out of the place, cursing as he came. He threw stones at David and at all the king's officers, even though all the soldiers, including the royal guard, were on David's right and on his left. Shimei was saying as he cursed, away, away, you murderous and wicked man. The Lord has requited you for all the bloodshed in the family of Saul, in whose stead you became king. And the Lord has given over the kingdom to your son, Absalom. And now you suffer ruin because you are a murderer. Abishai, son of Zeroahiah, said to the king, why should this dead dog curse my lord, the king? Let me go over, please, and lop off his head. But the king replied, What business is it of mine or of yours, sons of Zeroiah, that he curses? Suppose the Lord has told him to curse David. Who then will dare to say, Why are you doing this? Then the king said to Abisha and to all his servants, if my own son, who came forth from my loins, is seeking my life, let him alone and let him curse, for the Lord has told him to. Perhaps the Lord will look upon my affliction and make it up to me with benefits for the curses he is uttering this day. David and his men continued on the road while Shimei kept abreast of them on the hillside all the while cursing and throwing stones and dirt as he went. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, rise up and save me. Lord, rise up and save me. O oh Lord, how many are my adversaries? 
Many rise up against me. Many are saying of me, there is no salvation for him in God. Lord, rise up and save me. But you, O Lord, are my shield, my glory. You lift up my head. When I call out to the Lord, he answers me from his holy mountain. Lord, rise up and save me. When I lie down and sleep, I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. I fear not the myriads of people arrayed against me on every side. Lord, rise up and save me. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus and his disciples came to the other side of the sea, to the territory of Gerenices. When he got out of the boat, at once a man from the tombs who had an unclean spirit met him. The man had been dwelling there among the tombs, and no one could restrain him any longer, even with a chain. In fact, he had frequently been bound with shackles and chains, but the chains had been pulled apart by him and the shackles smashed, and no one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and on the hillsides, he was always crying out and bruising himself with stones. Catching sight of Jesus from a distance, he ran up and prostrated himself before him, crying out in a loud voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I adjure you, By God, do not torment me. He had been saying to himself, Unclean spirit, come out of the man. He asked him, What is your name? He replied, Legion is my name. There are many of us. Not to drive them away, from the territory. He he pleaded earnestly with him not to drive them away from the territory. Now, a large herd of swine was feeding there on the hillside, and they pleaded with him, send us into the swine, let us enter them. And he let them, and the unclean spirits came out and entered the swine. The herd of about 2,000 rushed down a steep bank into the sea where they drowned. The swine herders ran away and reported the incident in the town and throughout the countryside. And people came out to see what had happened. As they approached Jesus, they caught sight of the man who had been possessed by legion, sitting there clothed and in his right mind. And they seized him with fear. And those who witnessed the incident explained to them what had happened to the possessed man and to the swine. Then 
they began to beg him to leave the district as he was getting into a boat. The man who had been possessed pleaded to remain with him. Go home to your family and announce to them all that the Lord in his pity has done for you. Then the man went off and began to proclaim in the Decapolis that Jesus had done and all were amazed. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we remember St. John Bosco, founder of the Salesians, who dedicate their life to the education of children. He was a friend of, you will know, Paul, Cafaso, St. Cafaso, your ministry. He was his friend, um, kind of a spiritual director of St. John Bosco. St. Joseph Cafaso dedicated his life to prison ministry. Go home to your family and announce to them all that the Lord in his pity has done for you. I think those words, the same words the Lord is telling us today, how many things the Lord has done for us, liberation, miracles, protection, and we are called to share it with others, if necessary, using words. Please stand. The Lord delights in healing and saving his people. Let us offer our prayers with confidence. For bishops, priests, and deacons, may God grant them courage in adversary and grace as they lead their church, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For government leaders throughout the world, may God help them govern with righteousness, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all experiencing mental illness, May God strengthen them, provide the resources they need, and bring them to better health, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may God make in us joyful hearts, sharing the love of Christ in all we say and do, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Bishop Francis Highland, for whom this Mass is offered, and for all who have died in Christ, may they be rewarded with eternal happiness in heaven, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your great love. In your wisdom, please hear and answer our prayers this day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the oblation made by your consecrated people in commemoration of St. John Bosco be acceptable to you, we pray, O Lord and grant that by participation in this mystery, we may reflect the pattern of your love. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is to be right and just our duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for us on the festival of St. John Bosco, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord of our hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks broken, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially Bishop Francis Highland, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Thomas Aquinas, with St. John Bosco, 
and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit, let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, for only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven, says the Lord.
Let us pray. May this holy meal give us strength, Almighty God, so that by the example of St. John Bosco, we may show in our hearts and by our deeds both fraternal charity and the light of truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Thanks be to God.